Buongiorno everyone, this is Michael Blackwell. I wanted to share with you guys today a new product that we're releasing. It is our custom uh, weekly lead generation theme. This theme has been created specifically for the SEO world or people that have gone through our, our education system. This is the last Weebly theme we believe you're ever going to need. And we say that because this is the last Weebly theme we're going to use. Um, we're going to probably make some small enhancements and uh, updates as we go, but this is going to be the theme we use on any Weebly site going forward um, because we've designed it to be you know, everything we wanted. So what you're buying here is you're actually going to be buying the theme and you're going to own it. You're not going to be buying a license. You can literally use this on as many websites as you want. We're not going to sit here and gouge you like a lot of those other places. Um, but this is the product right here. You can see we have a screenshot of tablet and mobile and then we also have the desktop. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys because uh, it's actually really cool to see it happen as opposed to just screenshots. So this is a website live right now that has it. It's uh, tampa-tree.com. So what you're buying is just the theme and its functionality. What you are not purchasing is the layout. So all of this stuff here with the content, this all of this with like the icons and the images, and you see how that has the little trees next to it and stuff like that. And then down here it has the leaves, you know, because you're not, you know, if you use this theme for something other than tree care, you know, that's not going to really work for you. But what we're going to do is we're going to eventually be releasing this as full websites that you can purchase. So full layouts um, with icons and everything already built in to where all you have to do is go swap out your text and your images. Um, but that's a getting ahead of ourselves. Right now we're just selling you the theme. And what the theme does is what I want to show you here, the really cool thing, is the way that it's mobile responsive. So if I just drag my window to be a little smaller here, you're going to see this whole area up here. So we have the phone number the address and the hours and then the free quote button. Now watch what happens when I shrink this down. You're going to see those get responsive and what I mean by that is they're going to start, you see how they go on top of each other? And then once we get onto the mobile cell phone, this is what a mobile phone or a tablet looks like. You see how it kind of condensed it to where the free quote button goes all the way across. Um, we have these four things here that they can click as well. But check this out, when you start scrolling, what happens is the menu stays obviously, so we have the menu here. And you can see that when you click that, we get more. So we got a pretty cool menu, but the coolest part is the free quote button. So no matter where they scroll, that free quote button is going to stay there the whole time. So that was one of the biggest parts. You can either go to a cell phone with that or directly to a phone call with that, or you can have it linked to another page, like your contact page. Um, this is just a button in Weebly. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick. That's what it looks like on the mobile device. And then obviously this is what it looks like on desktop. So I'm going to show you what happens when we install the theme because most people think they're going to be getting that giant, that giant whole thing there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start a new website. So I'm in my Weebly account here. We're going to go ahead and hit add website or add a site. Okay. I don't feel like selling. Now the thing with this is if you're starting a new site from scratch like this, it's going to have to, it's going to have you pick a layout to begin with. Um, unless you're importing a whole site, but that's again getting ahead of ourselves. Um, you're going to have to pick a pre-existing layout first. And then once you do that, you'll be able to import our theme over top of it. So what I tell everybody is this. First, find a theme or one of the built-in ones that you like the layout of and you want to change and build on and then import our theme. So I really like the Nectar one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pre we're going to click it and preview it. I like this one because I like the layout of it already. So what I mean by that is where they put the images and the text and it takes a second because they're building, you know, a live, a live preview here. But I like the Nectar one because it already gives me a beautiful layout. Um, so you'll see when it loads here, I like how their pictures are. I like how the, you know, the few pages that they have built in. I like how those are set up already. So let's get this to load up here. All right, that took a little longer than I thought, so we went ahead and paused that there so you could see. But uh, you see how it kind of, you know, it gives me the image and the text. I kind of like the layout. And then this little area, I feel like I could use this for my services for whatever website I'm about to build. And then this little area at the bottom. So I like the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this as my, my starting point. Like I said, for a new site, you have to create from one of their pre-installed themes, just the way they have it set up. So we're going to go ahead and let that load. I'm going to pause it again while it takes its time. All right, so just for testing purposes, we're going to put this on a free subdomain, so we'll just do, um, oh, like a type today. That's, oh, cool. So Blackwell theme is available. We're going to go ahead and choose that. Okay. So now you see we have this. It's loaded up for us. We can go in here, and we can change everything as we need already. 
But what we want to do is we want to bring that theme in that you just purchased, right? So we're going to click theme up here, and then we're going to click change theme right there. All right. Now, once you're in here, you're going to see all the themes that they have for you. But if you look in the top right corner, you're going to see this button here that says import theme. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and click that. You'll see this little thing pop up. What you need to do is you need to find the zip file that you downloaded from purchase. Uh, so it should be called Blackwell's Lead, Weebly Lead Gen. And you just click and drag that there. And while we wait, it's going to be uploading in the background. And sometimes it looks like it's not doing anything, and that might make you want to, you know, press some buttons. I advise you not to do anything. Just literally trust me that it is importing. So I'm going to pause this so you don't have to wait for this, whatever's going on with the delay today, it's really going slow. So let me go ahead and pause this until it's finished. Okay, so we got in there. I, we might have to make a little, we might have put in a little image so that it doesn't look gray every time. So we may have to update that. But if you see Blackwell's Weekly Legion right there, you can go ahead and hit choose. And what you're going to see is you're going to see basically the top menu redesign, but it's going to keep, and some of the colors, but it's going to keep the whole site as a whole. So you see it kept all of this so that's why you had to pre-choose a layout right and then now we have our own header where we can edit all of this stuff now the one thing you notice that's missing is that button that's because you actually have to add that yourself as a button so now that you have the theme installed and activated we're going to go over make sure you're under build right here and we're going to grab this button and we're going to drag you'll see it, it carves a space out so it's already ready you see how that happened as soon as i click that you see the little rectangle up here, all right? So go ahead and drop it up in there. It'll automatically format itself. And now what you need to do is just kind of edit the button. So click it, and we can change the button text to uh, request, request quote. Um, we're gonna hit button style, and you can see the button style goes with the theme. So this theme is yellow and gray. You'll see obviously on our site here, it's green. That's because our theme that we chose was green. Um, so if you want to change the colors, I can show you how to do that. It'll take some customization. Um, but just showing you the, the nit and gritty here, get the button in there. I like to choose the bigger ones because I feel like it has more appeal. So we went ahead and chose that. Um, I like to center mine. Now one thing, please, please, please make sure, click the spacing button and make sure these are set to zero. If you don't set those to zero, you're going to see some issues on the mobile version. So make sure you're spacing, again, on the button. Click the button, spacing, and make sure both of those say zero, okay? I know it's a minimal amount of work, but it's worth it in the end. So now that we have that, we'll put the link. So where do you want it to go? Do you want it to go to a contact page, or do you want it to go to a phone number? Um, that's up to you. I like to have it go to the phone number, so it'll call them directly. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and click off, and that's how that goes. So I'm going to click Publish. And then that way we can kind of see what's going on here. So this is again was the setup from a brand new, just brand new Weebly site, start from scratch, never had one existed. Um, I didn't fill in any of that information up there, so that was on me. But that's easy to figure out. Obviously, it says click here to enter your text. And then if you want to link something up like the phone number, And highlight that and link it up yourself as you normally would. Okay. So you'll see that that's how that links up now and it goes in with the own colors. We can even put our own subtitle right there. Um, okay. So you see here it's got a thing. I want to I want to beef this out real quick just to show you. You can do whatever you want with these areas. This is where you're going to use that uh, address. Again, if you want to link anything up, you just click it and link it as you would anything else. And then hours, hours, Monday through Friday. And I will say, this is, I mean, this is just for shipping giggles, so why do I have to care if it's perfect? <laughs> Sad. Sunday. 
And that was just to show you guys what happens if we actually beep it out the way it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and refresh this. All right, cool. So now you see how it populates itself. It actually, if you link it up, it'll give you the colors. You see how it highlights yellow when I when I hover over it. I didn't link any of this up, so it's not showing um, as a yellow. But then let's go ahead and do the mobile test. And you'll see here, there we go. So now when you scroll down, you have everything you need. And it's good to go. So now all you have to do is edit your site. You got a brand new theme on there, meant for lead gen. And you should be good to go. Um, let me see what happens. Let's go ahead and do a version where you have an existing website and you bring this in. The biggest thing that's going to happen with most people, if you have a site that already exists and then you want to change it to this theme, it's going to just be, it's going to throw some of your colors off. And that's something we can fix with CSS. Um, I don't know if any of these are something I want to mess with. This was just a test site. I don't even know if it's working. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this theme isn't as big as we thought. This was just a demo. I think it looked like we went into a sales call and tried to show somebody how quick and easy we can get a site up and running. Um, but let me just go ahead and change the theme on here and see what happens. Go to import theme. And then as we did before, we wanted to upload our theme. And then I'm going to pause while that uploads. Okay, and it looks like I didn't need to upload it since I uploaded it in my account. It keeps all of those themes, so I guess I didn't even need to do it because when I did it, it gave me the underscore one, meaning it already exists. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose that anyways, the original one. And then what it'll do is it'll restructure the site, but it'll keep everything there. You see how the giant, yeah, you see how big that goes. Um, and then it kept everything else that they had as far as contact for specials. It erased their image. So you might run into some, some issues like that. So you want to make sure you got everything backed up and saved. Um, something like this. I usually recommend doing um, an image of your phone number instead of an actual typed out name. So right here, I would, if it were me, I would have an image of my number. Um, that's really huge. So let's put Waffle now. <laughs> um, and then just put a uh, best. You can see how, you know, you see what I meant by how now you're going to drag the button in and all that same editing we did before, you know, tell it what kind of button do you want it, how big do you want it, what kind of text, and then the main thing, as I told you before, the main thing is make sure that spacing is zero and zero. All right. But that's what, that's the same thing that happens if you have an existing website. You'll see how it kind of changes some things here. But for the most part, you guys are good to go. You're ready to rock. And then you can hit publish and you got your new site layout. So if you guys have any questions, this is a new theme, so there are bound to be some hiccups or some kinks. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us. If it comes down to something with the colors getting messed up or something like that, that's very easily fixed. Pardon me, that's very easily fixed with some CSS, some custom style sheets that we could do for you. Um, the same way that you saw everything else there was yellow, you can see it's green here. So that's just some simple color changes. So. Um, we hope you enjoy the new theme that we've created, and hopefully you'll get this layout that we've designed here coming very shortly in the near time that uh, you guys can start cranking out websites a lot faster. So, uh, again, thank you all for your support with everything. We hope this theme really helps you, especially if you're uh, in the SEO world like we are, to help get these websites going and moving faster and converting those web users into phone calls and leads. So, guys, take care. Love, peace, and chicken grease.